Rockstars, Eric Andreas, your Guitar Sage here with the five things that you must know that your guitar teacher has never told you about. And these have less to do with the inner workings and the bits and pieces about guitar. If you want those things, I got tons of that for you, especially the link below, yourguitarsage.com slash 30. It's the first 30 lessons that I teach all my students. I gave it to you for free with that link below. But what I want to discuss with you today are things that are going to keep you in the game, things that are going to make you a fantastic guitar player without showing you some scale. Because I'm sure people have shown you a scale before, shown you a chord, and you're like, I still suck. I still don't feel like I know what I'm, what I'm doing. So let's talk a little bit of psychology today. I promise you this is going to empower you. It's going to make you a better player from here till the day you stop playing, which will hopefully be the day you die, the day you die, not earlier than that, okay? So let's talk about it. So first off, everybody sucks when they start playing the guitar. This is a rule that has been around since the beginning of time. Jimi Hendrix, Eddie Van Halen, Joe Pass, I don't care who it was, when they started playing guitar, they sucked. Why? Because they've never done it before. Same reason why they probably weren't good at Chinese if they never studied Chinese. If I studied Chinese today, I would feel like I sucked because I would because I haven't done it before. So let's take that out of our equation. Let's take it out of our vocabulary. You don't suck at the guitar. It's just you just don't have a, the amount of practice to the capacity that you want to be that kind of player. So if you want to be an excellent player, you better be practicing excellently. You better be practicing a lot. You want to be a mediocre player, then practice, you know, just a medium amount. And if you want to suck uh, and not, not ever really improve much, then don't practice it much. Do a lot of TV watching, a lot of uh, binge eating and that sort of thing. Otherwise, if you want to be good at guitar, dig in and have some fun, okay? So number one, everybody sucks at the guitar, okay? Number two, your fingertips are going to hurt. Your hands are going to hurt. These are new things that you're doing. We pick things up like this, you know. We don't sit there and wear our fingers out on a piece, on a small, thin piece of metal over and over and over and over again, okay? The strings. So your fingers are going to hurt. You're doing this clamping motion when you're chording and when you're playing notes. So that is going to get sore right in here in your thumb and you're going to be holding chords and going, oh, that hurts. It's going to happen. I'm telling you ahead of time, it's going to happen. If it doesn't happen, you need to write to me because you're some sort of uh, freak of nature and you better post a video too of you wailing on the guitar, okay? So with that being said, your fingers are going to hurt, your hands are going to hurt every single time, okay? In the beginning, okay, and the way to get over that is to just do it. Just keep doing it. You're going to get over it, okay? Now, number three, everybody gets frustrated when they start playing guitar. Why? Because it's not a super easy instrument to play. You go up to a piano, you can start playing chords instantly. There's no real special technique needed, okay? I have a one and a half year old little boy. He'd go up to the piano and he could start hitting right away. He can't even play a note on the guitar yet. Even if I showed it to him, it's gonna take some time because there's more uh, brain power that's needed to actually fret something, okay? Not saying that piano is, is a lesser instrument. There are piano players that are way better than I am a guitar player, okay? So everybody gets frustrated. It's okay. Keep in the game. Have fun. Learn at a pace that's enjoyable for you and learn something that's that's step by step in a row, one step at a time, because if you're just jumping around on YouTube looking at videos, you're probably going to get frustrated because you're going to see a video that's too overwhelming for you before you watch something that's smaller. That's why I have the that free course for you, yourguitarstage.com slash 30. It's a step-by-step -step approach. You can't mess up unless you just say, I quit, okay? Which brings me to number four. Everybody's going to want to quit the guitar at some point because it, it it's a dedication, just like anything else. It's like working out. If you've ever worked out before, I have. If you ever stopped working out, I have many times. Um, and so, just like working out, it's a dedication. It's a chore. It's something that you, that you say, I'm dedicating myself to this. I'm going to do it. Sometimes you don't want to. More fun probably than working out, but still, because of the frustration, sometimes people do want to quit. Okay? So, it's going to happen to you. Just ignore that voice. Get, a, get one of my few hundred songs that I've taught here on YouTube. Watch the course. All these things. That's going to get you in the zone. Okay, and lastly, and here's the big one. Are you ready? And I don't say this loosely. I don't say it lightly. You 
specifically you, and I know I'm talking to a lot of people right now, but specifically you, if you can hear my voice right now, you can do anything that you want on this instrument. And I mean that because I've seen so many of my students go from nothing to being amazing guitar players. Now, the reason this is, is because they found resources, they found a method, a guitar method to use, and they practiced. You gotta have the right instruction. If you're without the right instruction, you don't know what to practice, you're practicing the wrong stuff. If you don't practice the right stuff, that is not going to help either. You need to have those two together, those two together with that passion of wanting to be a great guitar player is going to get you there. It's physically impossible. We're not created to, uh, or whatever your belief is, we're not made, we're not born to not improve, to not get better. Listen, you're a lot better, th better off than you were when you were one years old. You couldn't even feed yourself back then, right? Still pooing and peeing in your diaper. Why? Because you learned how to go pee pee and poopy in a potty. Okay, and you learned how to feed yourself. That's the truth of it. And everything else, you learn how to use your fingers, you learn how to walk, you learn how to ride a bike, you learn how to do all these things. And guess what? Every single time it was frustrating, it was scary, it was uh, you know, overwhelming, but guess what? You got through it. So you're gonna get through playing guitar as well. It's just the gauntlet that you gotta go through. You just gotta get in practice. All right, my friends. Hey, this is what I do for a living. I love it. I love teaching people how to play guitar. So please let me know how I can help. I got a bunch of books on Amazon, uh, best-selling books there. I got the free course below yourguitarsage.com/thirty, a free ebook at your guitar sage. Um, I'm on Twitter and Facebook and all these places. If you don't know about this, my friends, you're missing out. I do free live webcasts. Get on that email email list there. I, I'm giving stuff away all the time literally thousands of dollars worth of guitar gear every single month. So if you're not hooked up with me, you need to be. Please let me know how I can help my friends. Leave your comments below, any questions, anything that you got. Uh, please let me know how I can help. And as always, my friends, if you're new to my channel, I've got three mottos. Be kind to all beings. Don't trust the man and practice your guitar. I'll see you in the next video.